I inherited a paid off property in Michigan. What's next? Losing a family member can be tough and inheriting a house from them can bring its own set of challenges. However, knowing the process and available options can make managing an inherited property much easier, especially if the house is already paid off. There are several steps involved when inheriting a house without a mortgage. It's essential to educate yourself on the process and gather necessary documents and information to ensure everything is in order when inherited a paid off home. Generally speaking, the probate process is the first step in claiming and obtaining ownership of the inherited house. Probate involves a court verifying the deceased's will and executing the estate as specified in the will. This process includes appointing an executor, distributing assets and properties among beneficiaries and handling any remaining debts and taxes. Okay, TJ, I got all that. Okay, that makes sense. Well, what if there isn't a will in place? Well, if you die without a will in Michigan, it's also known as interstate. State law and probate court will control the distribution of your estate. Your assets will be distributed to legally recognized beneficiaries according to entity concession, secession law. That's a mouthful. Some aspects of entity law in Michigan include if you are married with no living children, parents, or grandchildren, or living spouse receives an entire state. If you have children or grandchildren with your spouse, your spouse receives the first 150,000 of the estate and half of the rest, and other half distributed to the children equally. If you have children or grandchildren who are not related to your spouse, the spouse will instead receive the first 100,000 of the estate and half of the rest. If you have no spouse or descendants, your estate will either go to your parents or be split equally among siblings. Jointly owned properties will pass automatically to the co-owner and accounts with the designated beneficiaries. Such assets will avoid the probate process. However, everything you own in your name alone will go through probate. This is worth noting for, to prepare yourself or loved ones to skip the entire probate process entirely. Michigan Lady Bird Deed or Enhanced Life Estate Deeds. This allows the owner to transfer the ownership of the home to its beneficiaries. Second option, place the property in a trust. This allows the passing of the ownership of the property from the owner to the beneficiary. You can inherit the home directly without probate. Let's talk about several options when deciding on what to do with a paid off inherited home. You could first, you can occupy the house. You may choose to live in the house yourself or share it with other family members. You can sell the inherited house, which that's typical. Selling the house can simply simplify matters, but it's essential to settle payments and complete required paperwork beforehand. You can also rent the house out. Renting the house can provide passive income, but requires ongoing maintenance and adherence to local landlord regulations. What happens if there are multiple inheritors to a property? Multiple inheritors include close family members like siblings, cousins, or anything or anyone the deceased person chooses. So selling a home with multiple inheritors is a real curveball. In such cases, the first step is to come to an agreement on selling or uh, renting out or buying the property with the other inheritors. You can appoint a neutral party and non fishing beneficiary as the head person of the sale. The neutral party will ensure a transparent home process, sale process for fair distribution of proceeds among the inheritors. What if all the inheritors do not agree to sell? If majority of the inheritors are willing to sell the property, they need to go through the probate court. The inheritors can file a partial action lawsuit in the probate court. In such case, the court enforces the sale. As a result, the inheritors have to divide the proceeds among themselves as per the will. Moral of the story, my friends, make a will and give clarity to probate and your loved ones. I've seen some really good people get really nasty with family once money becomes available 
and it just destroys relationships. It's, it's, it's awful, actually. My name is TJ Francisco, realtor in the Macomb and Oakland County here in Michigan. If you need free advice during a difficult uh, time of a passing of a loved one or how to navigate the sale in a tricky time, please reach out to me. I'm here to serve you and your family. If you happen to like real estate content like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.